everyone, it's Brittany here and welcome to today's video. This video has been something I've been wanting to film for ever, like forever. And I'm so excited to finally be doing it. This is my makeup kit because I'm a makeup artist. Um, I vlogged this before but I've never made a video about it and how I organize my makeup kit. So this video is for basically anyone who's maybe wanting to get into becoming a makeup artist or starting out or any makeup artist that's just trying to find a new way to organize their kit because I know I love watching those videos and seeing how other artists do it and stuff like that and it's just like a cool way to organize your makeup too. You can kind of use these same tips and tricks to organizing maybe your makeup vanity or your makeup bag or whatever and I have a few little things that you might be interested in buying for your travel bag or something like that. So first off, this is obviously my makeup kit. is is a Stilazzi makeup kit. It's pretty nice. I bought it when I went to school at Mud. It was the kits that they sold there. And I probably will invest in a new one in a few years, but so far so good. I know um, people had a problem with the handles breaking when you're trying to carry it because it does get obviously heavy if you have a lot of makeup. Um, and what else? I don't know, it's, it kind of tips back and forth when you're rolling it, um, so you kind of have to like weigh out what where you put stuff, which can be kind of annoying, um, but otherwise it's a good case and it holds a lot, But so it has two buckles, um, it has velcro on the sides, and I'll show you why, because you get these, um, it come, you get these like clear cases that velcro on the inside, so it goes to, let's see, you unzip it and it goes to about here. So that's the space you have up here. It's all empty space. Then you have a set of eight drawers right here, um, which is essential. And then you have a little pocket right here. So I guess I'll just start of how I organize my kit. Um, so first off, I have these three right here. I'll bring the camera closer when I'm going on the inside to show you how I have that kind of organized. But, so I have these three little things right here, and this one, they got Um, and this one I keep my mascaras. So, I have a few different mascaras and like brow gels and stuff in here. Um, I like to keep this little stuff like this in these little compartments. Um, that velcro right up here, they're easy to access. You don't have to take them out when you're applying makeup to somebody. So you can just open it, unzip it, and it's right there, easy. And then this one right here, I have... Um, like some lip liners and lip glosses and stuff like that. And then in this one I have like brow stuff and um, like eyeliners and different sticks and stuff like that. Oh, and here is the main, main compartment that I have everything. So I always stack my brush belt on the very top. Um, I don't want it to get smushed down there. So this is my brush belt. I have a separate video of what's in my brush belt, how to organize my brushes, um, my favorite brushes, and another video. So I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. So heavy. And then in here, I have all like my sanitation stuff. Always as a makeup artist, you need a big thing of stuff that will help in an emergency. So I have two things of tissue. Tissue are essential. Always, always need tissue. Um, I have all my disposables as well in here. So I have mascara wands because you never use the same wand on a person. You always, when you get a brand new mascara, you open it. You never use the wand it comes with and you dip these in separately to apply to clients. Um, I have cotton swabs and some q-tips. I need to add more q-tips because I'm doing makeup later today. So, And then I have some little lip like doe foot applicators for like lipstick and lip glosses. Then a little mini beauty blender. And then also you always want to have nice smelling breath. Like it's so important. You don't want to be breathing in the client's face like gross. So I always have mints or gum or something. Never gum because you don't want to be chewing in their face either. And then I have little mini plastic spatulas some shout wipe and go in case usually you cape a client but sometimes they don't want to be caped so I have these little shout wipe and go wipes in case some makeup gets on their outfit and then I have eyelash glue um, oh my god eyelash curler I cannot think of that just now some tweezers and little different mini things in there as you can see I have three different palettes right here these are where I keep like my bigger palettes um, on the side because they just fit perfectly. It's just like a plain game of Tetris, honestly. Then I have wax paper palettes in case I don't want to use a steel palette. 
and I felt like I'm doing a bunch of people. Then I have this guy right here. This is where I keep all my loose like powders and loose eyeshadows that aren't in a palette and highlighters and bronzers and all that stuff. So I kind of just have everything stacked up. A lot of random ColourPop little ones, but so I have translucent powders, bronzers, highlighters, all that fun stuff in these. And you can, I'll link these, you can buy little um, clear bags like this. They have them on Stilazi.com, as you can see right there. They have them at Morphe. They have them at, a, you can find them on Amazon, Amazon I'm sure, but these are just really convenient because they fit so much more than you would think, and they're good for traveling as well. And then, lastly, on the very bottom, I have this big guy, which I love. It fits so many things. I love it so much. Um, but in here, I basically just have um, palettes because those guys can take up a lot of space. So it's really, like I said, again, it's like playing a game of Tetris. You really just have to um, figure out the best way to stack everything. So that's how I have all those palettes stacked. And now for the drawers. This is probably the hardest part for me to organize for some reason, but so in, I don't know. In the top drawer, I have all my different things that I put out on my station when I'm doing makeup. So we have brush cleaner, which leaks like a mother truck. So Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, I have water to activate different liners and to make um, different eyeshadows more pigmented. Then I have alcohol. Alcohol is very important in cleansing everything after every single time you use it. Um, and then a little pot to put um, brush cleaner in and get the brushes in. I have some moisturizer, hand sanitizer. Always sanitize your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your hair. Don't touch anything without sanitizing your hands afterwards. That's like the biggest thing in being a makeup artist is people want to cleanly and you don't want to spread germs. And then in this one, I have some more just different products and stuff. I have Mario Badescu rose water, some cleansing oil, Mist and Fix by Makeup Forever, and a primer. And then in this guy, we have lashes, and lashes, and I also had to stuff my um, lip palette in here because I had nowhere else to put it. And this and these freaking come off easily and it's really annoying. And lastly, it's hard to so an angle. In this drawer, I just have other random little things, liquid set, more primers, eye primers, um, brush shampoo, which I use on my brushes every few weeks, because most of the time I just use um, the spray by Cinema Secrets. Is where this is where I keep all my foundations as you can tell you haven't seen any foundations yet so I have my three mud palettes right here these are all different foundation palettes they're creams obviously um, and here we have airbrush makeup so these are all my little rarely do I do airbrush makeup but these are all the different foundation colors and this would be like a blush color and then this you can mix in with something to make it more of a highlighting color so airbrush makeup is a whole nother shabam and then in here we have more palettes I have RCMA palette, Cinema Secrets, um, different concealers and stuff in here and then lastly in here I have my airbrush gun this is what an airbrush gun look like looks like if no one's ever seen one. But this is the R Max Max 3 dual oh, dual single action. Yep, it's right there. But yeah. And this little pouch right here is where I would keep um, my like mats and stuff to put the product on top of when I'm doing makeup. That's how I'd set up my station. So I just have a plain white towel that I'm going to use later today. Then I have this little case to put dirty brushes so you always keep dirty brushes in one clean brushes in your palette and so if I'm like in a rush or I don't feel like cleaning them at the moment I'll just keep them in this little guy and clean them later when I get home all right guys so that is it for my makeup kit tour I guess how I organize everything how I group things and I think it's just fun to see inside of a makeup kit because not a lot of people really seems like makeup kits unless you're a makeup artist and as a makeup artist it's also fun 
seeing how others organize their kits. But thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully more videos coming soon. I love, I love it. This is my passion makeup, obviously. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, follow me on things, and I'll see you next time. Bye!